Hello, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior instructor and tech support here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is design options in Revit. In this blog, we will look at what design options does. Then we will explore how to achieve said results. And last but not least, how to make the chosen option part of your set of construction documentation. Let us get started. In this particular project, we will be working with a bathroom design to which we have created multiple options. Let's see how these options can be then shown. First of all, to uh, see where the options or design options are, we will go to Manage, Tab, and in the Design Options panel, we find Design Options. We also find this little icon right here, or down pull or, or pull out menu, which actually gives us multiple variances of the designs that we want to present, such as the corner shower and the square shower, okay? These two uh, items plus the add to set, which is this one right here, right now grayed out because I have nothing selected unless I select something, in which case then that add to set can be seen down here in this secondary place to actually go ahead and select your design options, whether it is the dialog box for design options, the assign to set or to select what option or design option you will be viewing. Okay, it's which is very much the same thing as you would here in manage your design options. This is your design options dialog box achieved through the same places here. Okay, then you have if you have an object selected, you have your add to uh, add to set so, uh, over here, which is grayed out over here. Although when you select it, it should come on. And then here, as I said before, you have your options to select from, just like you would down here, okay? So let's go ahead and see how this works. We have the square option right here, which is the, this, the uh, primary. Now the primary will always be the default main model, okay? Just so you know, the primary will always be the default main model. Basically, you're saying that your primary is your um, design your choice of design, not the one that's selected by the owner, but the one that you think is the best one. Okay, just for the sake of order, and really that's how I see that. More than anything, is for the sake of making sure that you have something to see. To see, right? So if we want to switch back and forth, all we have to do is just select the, the option that we want, and it will, it will automatically show it. And not only will it automatically show it, but it will isolate it in darker colors and gray everything else out that is not part of the option that you have selected to be the current one in the viewport. We'll switch it over to the uh, corner shower or square shower and you have the same thing. The difference between the options and the main is that in the main, everything is of a solid color. Now that we see how this actually works, let's go ahead and see how we can actually create some design options. Let's come over here to design options. And we can go ahead and design an option set by saying new here. It creates an option set that is new. We can select it and delete it if we want to. But this is not an option set that we want. We actually want an option to the existing set, which is the bathroom options. So what we'll do is instead of coming up here, we go to the options new. And let's go ahead and automatically rename this to something that we've already previously designed and put away, but we're now going to add to an option set, which is the, come here to the rename, and this is going to be called the rounded, oops, sorry, shower option. So we'll say okay, and we'll go ahead and make that the primary and close. Now, as you can see, because the uh, rounded corner is the primary, is now set as the main model, it now shows nothing because the primary, the, this particular design option is empty. Luckily, we have designed some items that were fit into this category. We have them already selected and turned off. They're right here. So we'll select the grouping. It's a group that we've go ahead and, and place it so it's easier for us to go ahead and um, um, thaw out or make it show. We'll say unhide view elements, and we'll go ahead and turn off the close reveal hidden elements, okay? And now that we have that done, we can now go ahead and select the option that we have designed earlier and place it in its 
proper point, which is going to be the rounded shower option, which is the primary, and we'll say OK. Now, it seems like nothing happened, but the reality is that all of those items that were part of that group were, are now been, have now been assigned to the rounded shower. Now, there is a caveat here that I must say that if you come over here to the showers, in this particular workflow that we, that we just made, what happened was is that it got copied not only to the uh, to the rounded shower, but to the other options that we had available. So you need to make sure that you check and make sure that you have all of those items that are ex uh, additional that you do not need deleted from the specific option sets that you have. Once that's done, you don't worry about it because really, if you go back to rounded shower, there's your full rounded shower. And now because of that cleanup that you just did, your square shower is showing complete, and so is your, your uh, corner shower, okay? So with that, we have seen how we can actually go ahead and create design options for our clients, then allow them to see them, and then allow them to select. Now, given that, that uh, statement, let's go ahead and make the rounded shower the one that is primary. If we go to design options, once you have the primary selected, which is supposedly the, going to be the one that the client has selected as the one of choice, you can come over here. First of all, you need to make sure that the finish editing is uh, um, turned off. So you can then see that you have a new button that's kind of uh, now available, which is the accept primary. So what do you do? You make the design option that was uh, selected, the primary. Then you come back to the design options and you say accept primary. That will erase all other options you have there before. I would suggest that you save the project somehow and uh, put it away just in case you have to go back to a previous uh, option and uh, go ahead and then invoke it at the time that is needed, if it is in fact needed. Always good to have a copy, always save, for uh, archival reasons, I guess. So once we say accept primary, it's going to tell us that all of the other design options will be deleted. Let's go ahead and accept the primary, okay, and delete all other options. And now we've got our options set. If you come by over here to the options, there are no more options. It's all grayed out. If we go to design options, as I said before, all of the other options that were available that we had previously made, are now gone because we have selected the one that we're going to go with. With this, we have come to the end of our little demonstration on how to work with design options. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems saying thank you for watching. Have a safe and healthy day. Till the next one. So long.